to my channel. So it's been a couple weeks since I last vlogged, but I did switch gyms. And I feel like you guys have seen this gym because we did a couple meets at it. And then if you follow me on Instagram, I have been posting videos like at Milwaukee Barbell. So today in my video, I'm going to give you a lovely gym tour. Okay, so here's the stairwell. Down the stairs. And then the first thing you see is this front desk. And then there's a ledge where there are a bunch of chairs over here. And then if you peer over, this is the area where they do CrossFit. So there are like a bunch of ropes that hang from the ceiling. There are like a bunch of weights over there. Random squat racks, glued hams, rings, a bunch of stuff like that. And then to get down there, there's a stairwell right there. And then there are some bikes. This is the bubbler. You guys don't know what the word bubbler means? It's the same word for water fountain. Here's the Bruce City CrossFit Hall of Fame. And then if you look over here, this is like the weightlifting area. So right now there's Reese, that's Murphy, he's the coach here. I don't know her name, I don't know her name. And then that right there with the red shoes is Melissa. Melissa just broke some master state records at the meet on Saturday, I'm really excited. And I don't know what the person sitting on the floor's name is. But, here's some dumbbells. There's a foam roller. There's a bench. There's a door that I've never seen open before. Here's another door. But you know what? Sometimes in this doorway, I like see people and like they walk to the elevator. But I don't know how to get to the elevator and I don't know where the elevator goes. Here's some pegs because we are in Milwaukee. Do you guys want to say hi? Hi. Hi. I told the two that you broke some master's records this weekend. You can see them on the Instagram. Oh, you can't see them on the Instagram. <laughs> Follow MKE Barbell or uh, MKE, MKE Bam. Underscore Bam. Underscore, yes. <laughs> Here's a couch that I like to sit on a lot. There are some weights. This is a nice area that is supposed to be for ch You can't even see here. I'll go in here. So, so this is the, the lights are turning on. Okay, so here is the children's area. But I've eaten many a meal on this couch. And then behind here is the router where the Wi-Fi password is. There is a poster that kind of looks like cloak off, but I'm pretty sure it's not cloak off. Nice virus poster, because you can't go to a weightlifting gym without a virus poster. And then here's Frankie. <laughs> it's dark. Frankie, do you want to say hi to my vlog? Frankie. She does it. She's eating a bone. That was the official, oh, your butt's in my clip. That was the official tour of Milwaukee Barbell. Okay, update on training. We are nine weeks out from universities and my legs are still weak AF so I have to squat every day okay you know what is really annoying do you guys also hate it when you were talking to someone about something and they're like totally not affiliated with your training and they're also like not really a friend and they start giving you advice like first of all I did not ask for your advice second of all I don't want to take your advice and third of all why are you thinking you're qualified to give me advice anyway so I'm gonna be squatting um, before I do my classic lifts every session for the next two weeks and then we're gonna do like two like micro cycles so four week micro cycle like pre pre competition and then like a four week cycle like the four weeks leading up to the meet so basically what will happen is um, after these next two weeks I'm supposed to be like feeling like really really good and then for the next four weeks after that I'm going to be focusing on getting really strong and four weeks after that um, just probably like some tune-up stuff I don't know I'm really excited, so in a month, so I don't know if you guys knew this, but Tom is actually in California right now, he's interning with Bob Ticano, uh, Bob Ticano is like a, I guess you can call him old school because he's like kind of old, he's in the weightlifting like Hall of Fame, and so next month I'm going to be visiting him for like a couple days, and so I'll get to lift at Ticano Weightlifting in Burbank I think it is, and then after that I'm going to go visit my parents in Arizona, and I'm going to hopefully be lifting at this gym called Performance One, the head coach there, his name is Joe Mikola or Michaela or something. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for that, but here I am squatting. I have to do two more sets of uh, back squats with 77 kilos, and I think I told you guys this, but I'm not really sure. I think it was like four weeks ago now, or three and a half weeks ago, I was like re-racking a jerk, and my back, I swear on my life, like broke. I will insert the clip right here, like after I re-racked it, my back like buckled, and it hurt really bad, like kind of in my lower back on the right-hand side. So literally ever since then, my back is like hurt while I'm front, like front or back squatting, I guess. Like it doesn't matter which weight it is, which is kind of weird because it doesn't hurt while I'm clean and jerking or snatching. Only when I'm squatting, but I don't know. If it gets worse, 
I'll probably go see a chiropractor or a PT. But it's getting like a little bit better. I've still been doing like the hip stuff that you guys see me doing before. But I've also incorporated dead bugs. Um, if you guys don't know what a dead bug is, you guys look it up on the internet. It's like super easy to do. And it's like one of those like corrective exercises. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, I guess. But that's the update. I hope that this like doesn't turn into like a major injury. Because that would suck really bad, you guys. I have my first national meet coming up. And I can't look like a fool. And I also haven't snatched 60 yet, so my back needs to get its shit together. Okay, if you guys have never tried urban pie pizza and you think that regular frozen pizza is gross like I do, but enjoy the finer things in life, like dominoes and not eating beef, turkey, or fish for dinner. Time I was at this festival and they had samples of pizza, so obviously I had to go try the sample of pizza. Lo and behold, it was urban pie pizza. And after two slices, I was like gung-ho for this pizza, you guys. I've literally told everybody that I've come in contact with that is like an acquaintance, like a close acquaintance, I guess, to try this pizza. And I'm going to tell you guys the same thing because it is delicious. First of all, per serving, which I think is like a quarter of the pizza, has like 27 carbs and 15 grams of protein, which is pretty good for pizza, I think. Well, I've actually never really looked at nutritional facts of pizza, but I'm telling you this pizza is bomb. And second of all, it has no artificial preservatives. And third of all, it's made in Wisconsin and it's sold nationwide in um, Walmart stores. So yeah, Tom got some in California and I got some in Wisconsin. So I'm assuming that this pizza isn't in, bleh, isn't in Walmart near you. By the way, this video is not sponsored. This I'm just seriously so crazy about this pizza. But if you try it, please let me know in the comments down below or tweet me, post on Instagram, whatever, I'm sure. Um that I will be trying to eat this pizza in one sitting tonight. It is Sunday and it's rest day. I didn't really eat dinner, it's 7-12. Yeah, the new Harry Potter Cursed Child book came out. So I went, sh I worked, went shopping, came home, and now I'm reading the book. And obviously, I don't want to eat the tilapia, oh, the tilapia that I made because it's like for the rest of the week. So I'm gonna eat this pizza because I've been waiting like two weeks since I bought it to eat it. So yeah, thanks for watching my video. I will see you guys next time. Seriously though, let me know if you try this pizza because it is bomb ass pizza. Okay, bye, have a great day.